For question number two, we are given a system of equations, and that means that we have two equations with two unknowns, namely the x and the y. So for the first equation, we have 2x minus y is equal to 6, and the second equation is 5x plus 3y is equal to 15. And to solve for a system of equations, that means we are going to find out both the x and the y value that will satisfy these two equations at the same time. However, this question is only asking us for the y value, but just for practice purpose, let me show you guys how to find both the x and y values. So, I drew down the uh, same exact questions right here, and this is what we can do. We are allowed to add equations with equations, but then let me just demonstrate what will happen if we just go ahead and combine these two equations. So, if we line up everything, which is already lined up already, here we have 2x, that's a positive 2x, and this is a positive 5y. If we combine these two equations, this and that together, that will give you a 7x. And if we combine negative y with positive 3y, that will give us positive 2y. And then let me bring down the equal sign, and then 6 plus 15, that's 21. Notice that if I just add these two equations together, I produce 7x plus 2y is equal to 21. Well, I didn't really make any progress because I cannot solve for the x value or the y value. So that's not what we want because unfortunately, I still deal with an equation that has two unknowns. So this is the strategy. Think about it, what happens? Well, earlier nothing was able to cancel out, right? But then, wouldn't it be nice, let's focus on the y right here. Wouldn't it be nice if this was a negative 3y instead? Why? Because just think about it, if we have negative 3y plus positive 3y right here, well, what do we get? That's equal to 0, isn't it? In that case, we can just work with x, and then we can solve the equation by finding x value. But then I cannot just add a 3 right here, like, you know, I can just put a 3 right here, if I, uh, just to make it convenient. That's not a lot. To do this properly, this is what we need to do. We will have to multiply the first equation by positive 3. And then let's put down the result right here. And then we are going to produce you know, another equation, but then they are the same value. We are allowed to multiply both sides by the same number. Anyways, for the first one right here, don't forget to distribute the 3 into everything right here. And as we can see, 3 times 2x, that will give us positive 6x. 3 times negative y, that will give us negative 3y. And then 3 times 6, that's 18. But then this was an equal sign, so I also carry out the equal sign right here. So that's pretty much the change that we did for the first equation that we got this. But then for the second equation, I don't want to do anything with it. Let me just bring this down right here. I'm not making any change because it's actually ready for us to work from here already. And now let's attempt again to add up these two equations. So you see that we have 6x plus 5x. This will give us 11x. And then negative 3y plus 3y, they cancel each other out. They become 0, so they don't contribute anything. And as you can see, we have 18 plus 15. That will give us, we'll bring down equal sign, and that's equal to 33. Notice right here, we have 11x is equal to 33. That's an equation that we can solve. All we need to do is just divide both sides by 11. And we can cancel the 11, and then we can get the x is equal to the volume 3. So you see, this is pretty much how we can get the correct x value. But then we also need to get the y value now. But then we already know what the x value is. And now we just have to go back. So I'm taking the x is equal to 3 going back into our original equations, and then I'm allowed to plug in the 3 into this s or this x. Let's work with the top equation, the one in black, because I think the numbers are smaller, right? So let's go ahead, plugging this 3 into this x. And if we do that, we will have an equation that just have the y, and then we go from there. And then we put this down. This is 2 times x, so I'll put down the 2. And then we know the x is equal to 3. So I'm going to put the 3 into the parentheses, and then we have the minus y that's equal to 6. And we can go from there, because 2 times 2, we know that's 6, and then minus y, that's equal to 6. And to solve this equation, we just need to subtract 6 on both sides. Well, the reason I subtract 6 is so that this 6 and that 6 cancel, but then this 6 
and this 6 will also cancel each other out to be 0. And we end up with negative y is equal to 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. And technically what I had to do is, this is negative y is equal to a number, the number 0. I will have to divide both by negative 1. And that's how we can get it. negative divided by negative to be positive. And we will have y isolated. It's equal to 0 divided by negative 1. That's equal to 0. As you can see, y is equal to 0. And that's what the question is asking. Not 3, because we didn't look for x. We are not looking for the y. So y is equal to 0. That's answer choice C right here. And that's how we do a system of equations.